Hi, my name's Matt and I'd like to welcome you to this Zindiac training video, Practice Software Development and Management, which has the purpose to ensure that applications meet internal and external stakeholder needs in terms of functionality, reliability, maintainability, compliance and auditability, all the abilities. It's increasingly software engineering is increasingly important for infrastructure and platform management. So we're talking about infrastructure as a code. So obviously infrastructure codes, we're creating virtual infrastructure using in code. So software development and management supports that. And bigger shares of an application's total cost of ownership shifts to development. So constant change is integral and not referred to as maintenance. So rather than having as we used to say, maybe 20% was development and then 8% as maintenance. If we've got constant change and it's continually evolving and improving, so it's not just fixing bugs, it's not just little tweaks, but we're really building, then it becomes more viewed as development rather than maintenance. In some way, it doesn't really matter what you call it, it's just a word. As long as we all understand what we mean. Uh, and it sometimes using different words helps with um, a shift in attitude or, or behavior or mindset. Uh, so we've got some definitions. Uh, software, I, th I think you probably know all these, but software, a set of instructions that tell the physical components of the computer how to work. I won't bother reading the rest, I think you know that. Software development, the development of the software. Again, you can read the exact uh, definition if you need to. Maintenance. The modification of the application is part of development for both corrective and enhancement purposes. And we can do corrective, preventative, adaptive, and perfective. So corrective, correcting the default, preventing, trying to prevent defects. Adaptive, adapting the application to work with changed infrastructure. And perfective, enhancing the functionality, obviously trying to get to the ideal. Software quality. Um, so we, we, it's important that we or you define what your organization or your team means by software quality. So the, the things you might look at, uh, functional suitability, does it do what the customer needs it to do? Does it perform efficiently? Is it compatible with other software, other systems? Is it usable? Is it reliable? Does it always work in the same way and does it work continuously? Is it secure? Obviously a major factor now. Is it easily maintainable? Can we change it easily or is that difficult? And is it portable? Um, quality in use, effectiveness, efficiency, satisfaction, customer satisfaction, freedom from risk and context coverage. So we can think about all those things. Technical debt. The total rework backlog accumulated by choosing workarounds instead of system solutions that would take longer. And for those of you old enough to remember, the ultimate example of technical debt was the Y2K or the Millennium bug, where prior to the year 2000, many software developers had hard-coded the year 2000 into their systems that basically meant come the 1st of January year 2000 they wouldn't work um, and they did that because it was it was cheaper it was quicker it was easier but ultimately it led to a great backlog of change um, that many organizations just decided not to do and just replaced it was great great for Oracle and, and SAP they got lots of business by selling new solutions that were Y2K compliant, but uh, that was a big issue. We want to avoid that. We want to avoid technical debt. The software development life cycle model. Uh, the sequence in which the stages of the software development life cycle are executed. The major stages are establish requirements, design, code, test, run, use the application. Now, there's different 
models that we can use with that. So with the waterfall model says you do each of those stages in turn. So you do all establish all requirements, do all the design, do all the code, do all the tests, and then release it all in one go. And if you're sure, if you're absolutely sure that what you will need at the end is what you need at the beginning, your requirements are not going to change, then that's a perfectly valid way of delivering a solution. But if there is a degree of certainty, a degree of uncertainty, if there's a degree of uncertainty that you think, well, it might things might change, then that's where the incremental model becomes more popular. And the more uncertainty there is, the more that model works. So incremental is we do a bit of the requirements and then design that bit and code it and test it and hopefully release. And then a bit more requirements. And we can do it in parallel. So you don't kind of go all the way through and all the way through and all the way through. You're establishing requirements. You're starting to design against those requirements while you establish more requirements. And you're starting to code while you do some more design and establish more requirements. And you're starting to test while you do more coding and, and so on. So it's very much running in parallel. And the iterative or evolutionary model is really a version of the incremental model where we, we, we're less sure. So uh, in incremental model, you, you can kind of know what all your requirements are, but just do it incrementally. Iterative or evolutionary is really saying maximum degree of uncertainty. We really don't know what we're doing um, or we don't know what we need to do. We don't know what the... Um, end goal is quite so much so we definitely need to deliver iteratively and incrementally and evolve over time evolve the solution over time uh, scrum is an iterative time box approach to product delivery that is described as a framework within which people can address complex adaptive problems while productively and creatively delivering products of the highest possible value bit in quotes is from the scrum guide i just pick out it, it's addressing complex adaptive problems if your problem isn't complex you don't need a framework to solve it just solve it and the adaptive bit is that it's changing so what the problem is today isn't what the problem is tomorrow so it's that complex system we're living in a complex system things are changing so we need to adapt our solution to it we want to be productive and Scrum, the culture without in Scrum is important. We need to have focused, committed, skill knowledgeable people for it to work. And creatively, you know, going back to that experimenting and doing things in a different way and trying things and we can always make things better. Excuse me. We need to have a clear definition of done. So what do we mean by done? And in Scrum, they talk about improving the definition of done so refining the definition of done so what we produce is becomes better so what's done today the requirements for being done today the requirements for being done to tomorrow the thing that's done today wouldn't be done tomorrow because our requirements of our definitions change and it's it requires a higher quality basically product uh, in order for it to be done. So in terms of success factors for software development and management, definition, agree and improve an organization's approach to development and management of software. Different approaches require different combinations of resources. And uh, small, Relatively independent, multi multifunctional product-based development maintenance teams in which a product owner manages the priority of the work to be done. So that's very much aligned with Scrum. Platform-based teams that support the development maintenance teams with the provision of required infrastructure for development, maintenance and production. So that's what do we develop on. Version control tooling that tracks all production artifacts. So we knew what version is live and what the latest version is and that the version we release is the version that's been tested. I talked about that before. 
automated processes for continuously integrating and delivering and deploying software. And obviously that's key to fast development in high velocity IT. And finally, delivery success factors ensure that software continually meets organization's requirements and quality criteria throughout its life cycle. The most important components are understanding the source code, understanding the requirements in the context, ensuring that non-functional requirements are included in the definition of done, creating tests before coding, so that's tests first, effective version control, approaching the task of coding with a full appreciation of its tremendous difficulty and respecting the intrinsic limitations of the human mind. Yeah, I don't know who put that in, a, a, a coder, I guess. Um, but we do need to recognise that coding can be difficult and just because we delivered 50 story points last sprint doesn't mean we're going to deliver 50 story points this sprint. We might just come ahead against something that's just a bit more difficult and we might deliver less. And as I said, it's really important that the developers can de-scope and aren't under undue pressure to deliver everything on the sprint backlog in the sprint because if they do that quality goes down and then you end up with lots of bugs on your backlog and you don't want that. Adhering to con coding conventions, peer review and fast feedback from testing so shortening that feedback loop, using automated testing and taking remedial action quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this video but if you enjoy it give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please subscribe to the channel it helps support making these videos and making them available to you for free to preview remember if you want to purchase the course you can only purchase the course with the exam obviously the, the full course includes the sample exams and the syllabus and a PDF of the course slides for you to read at your leisure. You can only purchase that with the exam as a package from our website. So uh, until you see me again, have a great day.